guys, welcome back. It's been a while, we've been yeah, away for been a some while. Time. Um, we haven't got a new statue for a long time. We've actually, as you can see from our background in the collection, you'll notice it's been shifted a bit. We've got rid of all the marble and everything. Big but changes. One that we've been waiting for since we toured Sideshow headquarters last year when we saw the photos being taken of the um, artist proof was this one, Green Arrow exclusive. Jason's so, feeling like a little girl. I am, I've been waiting. Yeah. Um, Adrian's been at work and I've just been waiting for it to get home and rip into it. But here we go, guys. Let's do it. Well, man, I'm, I'll tell you what, I am impressed by the art box. Um, good side note, too. I was a bit worried when it came from Hong Kong because they're the ones that we've got that have been broken or defensive, you know, so I'm like... Uh, but up there, no, they um, double bat boxed it, so that was a bonus. You know, but extra, be extra boxes are better than no boxes. Yeah, exactly. So. That's what I said. I'd rather extra boxes than a broken piece. So, um, so, so um, Jace, what do you got? What do you got to say about the art box? I What's actually not? like it. I like it. Um, you know, it's not the ocean like some people are thinking. That's obvious. It's it's a more of a swamp. You know, like he's on the dock of a. I reckon like this, this would go good with that swamp thing, Marquette, that they brought out. Yeah, yeah. You know? Um, but it, look. You're not here to hear us gas bag on about the art box. Let's flip her open and give you a squeeze what she looks like on the inside. Hey guys, we're back after fighting with the multiple boxes and this suction yeah. from hell. Uh, yeah, we're ready to open this beauty up. Tapes are already done, Jason, put it up. All right, man, I'm gonna close the eyes again and just tell me if it's all okay. If I can get this bloody lid off, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it looks fine, bro. Oh, wow, okay, that's fine. Tell you what, yeah, look at this. Wow, foam inserts and everything, that's nice. So the top layer you get, you get the hand, you get the arrow, oh, so that's the long arrow with the tip on it, that's the one that goes in his hand. All the other ones are okay. shorter ones that go in the thing, so they're all bundled up in here. All right, so you got the body. Yeah. Bow and arrow. Okay, there's no blemishes or anything on the body or anything that I can see so far, so that's great. So Jason is very happy. I am very happy, but look, you know what I'm most happy at is, yes, and it's just like I remembered. Fantastic. That's the stuff right there. It's like the goatee speaking to you. It is, man, you know, like, um, that's <laughs> that's a classic Pete Cap look, like, like um, Robin Hood. Is sort of like his thing, you know, because yep. he's an, uh, an archer. But yeah, that was the head that I was really up. But he does come with. Um, so the, the is it, box is, is that so, exclusive. Yes. Yeah, so the, this is the exclusive item along with the boxing glove arrow. Yep. Um, and the collector's edition comes with the more modern head sculpt. So like he. He's actually looking a bit like this in the comics now. So in the rebirth and um, and ones like that, he actually looks a bit more like this. Oh, so. sweet, sweet. Yeah. Awesome, bro. All right, so that's the top layer. So the second layer, let's move this out of the way. Oh, here's the big ass base. Okay, so the base. Okay, so you've got the uh, base. Handle with care. Well, that's, that's great. You know, like we always usually whinge and bitch and moan about that, you know, privately that, you know, the fragile pieces and that you don't really know until you've grabbed them and broken them and then it's too late. It's a bit late. So that's nice. That we've got the handle with care and stuff here. Um, just have a look and see if any... Oh, look, it's like the Aspen water feature. They've done the same sort of thing, just a different colour. So we know that's a bit brittle. But that's, yeah, there's no breakages or anything like that, so that's fantastic. Looks good. Yep. Um, so you've got the piers, two piers that go in, and the little um, pieces that go around the piers, all around there. And I've got it now, I'm intrigued, I need to know what this is. Ah, oh, so this is like another quiver. This is the quiver on his, for his back. Okay, cool. All right. But that's, I've, I've got to give props to the packaging. You know what I mean? A lot of people usually rag on the sideshow packaging, but this is actually quite good. But enough of us waffling on with crap. Let's get it together. Let's do it. Okay, we're back. Let's start putting this beauty together. So as always, you know, pretty simple. Start with the base. Please. So you start with the base, and then I believe we go on to the. So piece. yeah, this will be the front. So the two pieces go to the back and the side. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. And they'll here, they? Yes, one? this is one of them, and. Obviously they're keyed, so... Oh, yeah, this is a little thing too with this one. So that one, the door's open at the back. Oh. And it's extremely difficult to open the doors once it's in place, so... 
So do you want they to did warn me about that when I was there. They said, you know, like, so I asked, oh, it looks pretty complex. So how hard was it put, put together? Put together? Mm -hmm. She goes, oh, it wasn't easy. You know, there was some trial so and error. Which way does this go? Let me check. Yep, you got it. That way. Open up the doors. Oh, you yeah. Okay. Yeah, now the clunk's good. Remember, the clunk means it's it's gone into position. So that's what I said, you need to open the door before you put it in. Okay, I do not want to break this. Don't we'll turn it around so people can see what you're doing. Okay. So open the door? Yep, open up the doors, then put it in. Like that? Yep. Have to make sure run it by Jason. So if something goes wrong, it's not my fault. Disclosure. Excellent. Okay, so we'll just turn it around just so they can see. That's with the doors open the back. Well, really, if, if you have the option, why would you keep the doors closed? Yeah. Well, actually, um, what, it, what it's for is um, mainly for the exclusive item, because with the exclusive item, you can put the uh, boxing glove arrow in there and okay. have him with the actual arrow, so okay. you can display both. Okay. Um, well, now it's time for green arrow. There you go, master. Well, this is pretty simple. The body first. Slideshow never really goes complicated with the bodies though, don't they? It's usually uh, so from memory. Well, sometimes. Rarely. Yeah. So, this is the back. No, this is the side. And he goes in. Because his foot rests on this pillar here, so... These are the ones that always worry me how they support. But look, no, that's a clean seam. Yep, no gap. Because usually, you know, that's the problem, you know, you think with the key and then you can balance it with another piece that sometimes that can be out of whack, but no, that's good. It's actually really good. What's the next piece? Uh, next piece will be his arm. Oh, right here. They did put some protection on it. That's great. Which is great. You see? So like, see, this is all the finicky stuff you don't see in them sideshow ones. Because <laughs> <laughs> have someone else do it for them beforehand. Okay. There we go, that's pretty... Like, you know what, this looks really pretty... I'm not gonna... I shouldn't have said that it looks really simple because usually when we say that, something goes wrong. But no, that looks... That, that's pretty easy, to be honest. Okay, uh, head. Which head? You want to use the oh, plastic look? If you're going to use any head, if you've got the option, this, like, oh, people have heard my rants before about um, Sideshow and the pricing, and, you know, particularly with changes to the, the weakening of the Australian dollar against the greenback and stuff, you know, that they, they get pretty expensive. But this was one that was X or fail, in my opinion. But that's just me because I'm a comic book lover and I grew up with the comic books of him, you know, like, um, Brave and the Bold with Green Lantern and stuff like that. So, Fair enough. Um, and, and you know, they were amazing comics in the day. Okay, so with the arrow, this is pretty simple. So, you've got this attachment here, which is the actual like um, arrowhead. Hunters all know what I'm talking about with this type of arrow. It's one of them um, ones that when you pull out of that, leaves a big gaping open wound. But the one we're going to display him with, of course, is. The boxing glove because when you think of green arrow it's his trick arrows it's not that he's just an awesome archer so this rests on there i'm not even touching this oh wow okay yeah so you gotta thread this it's stretchy so Oh, okay, yeah, you just gotta push him a bit into position. So apply a little bit of force, guys, but not too much. The back of the arrow, so this part here, so the back of the arrow goes between the two fingers. Yeah. Tell you what, for a piece that looks so complex, he, um, he's coming together pretty easy, and then I'll just stuff it up by doing that. But I had to, and I wanna make sure that the glove's up the right way, because if you're gonna get a statue like this, you gotta give it the credit that it's due. Technical difficulties? No, not technical. This is just pretty technical. 
There we go. So if it's going to release, he's actually going to shoot the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You're just chilling, having your coffee in the morning. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> across the room. Ah. <laughs> All right. So now, handle with care. Quiver goes on the back. Let's not have a repeat of Wonder Woman, how he's stuffed around with it for ages. This can really only go one way. Mm. Okay, well that keys a bit. A bit stiff. Does it go the other way? No, <laughs> what was that? Like, doesn't it that way? No? I can't see. No, no, see it, it won't go in the hole there. So the, the hole's cut only one way, but it doesn't fully go in. We'll show you in the close-up what we mean. But it feels like there's a magnet in there too. So I don't think it's going to pop out anytime soon. Is that the way it's supposed to be, perhaps? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the only way it can be, because he's got to reach over his head to get the arrows. Yeah. So and one thing, like I've got to say, the anatomy on this thing's perfect. Very rarely say that about a male piece, but <laughs> okay. Now these ones will be the one I reckon that'll probably stump us, but let's hope they're all individually keyed. What are these used for? They're the arrows that go in around here. Okay. Yeah. But we'll put these in first. So I don't know if they're actually keyed differently or well, that one just sort of goes in there. Oh, well, actually, yeah, okay, it doesn't really matter what they're keyed because it's basically you see the log splitting and you just pick a piece of the log and see which section it will split in because all the keys are cut the same, so. Wouldn't that be a problem with the door open? Or can this move? Oh, yeah, that's right, right. Yeah. Sit, yeah. And this, oh, actually, you know what? I think we lucked out. This one seems to be, oh no, they're all the same height. Okay, so that's everything out of the bottom one. And we've got the arrows. Which, <coughs> there's a hell of a lot of arrows. Yeah. And they're metal. Okay, like that's a nice touch. You, you would expect for them to be, as you can hear from the clinking mm -hmm. in our hands, they're actually metal, so. Okay. In like that, in like that. So there's there's two rows. You actually you might I think you've got the ones that they might be slightly thinner. See if your ones going. Yeah, that goes. Okay, so one's uh, it's got a slightly thinner point one packet, and that's your inner ring, and your outer rings the um the thicker ones. Is that right? Like that? Yeah, everywhere there's a hole. Yeah, just right. Put it in no Making sure so I don't yeah. get in trouble. Get in trouble. Making it look like I'm an abusive parent. <laughs> See when I trip one of his. You should have seen the vid after video of when I broke um, Bastion Superman. <laughs> so you want to see abuse? Maybe. Pretty bad, man. There was no abuse. <laughs> wow, so many arrows. But you know what? I was going to say, I think there's too many arrows, and then I thought, but someone will say, oh, I wish you had more arrows. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just shoot them. Yeah, these ones, they, they slant out, these ones. Yeah, I'm just having trouble like this. with this one over here. Let's see. Okay, well, there's maybe a tip. Maybe we should have put these in. Um... Oh, yeah, it is really tight, isn't it? Very. Maybe they've mixed one up. I hope not. No, no, maybe they just mixed up one of the cuts of the arrows. Yeah, because this one, well, no, that one doesn't no. go either. I hope they did it because you have to go for them more. Yeah. No, it's not good.
You know what? That's not Silence. even for me. For me, Adrian, honestly, that's not even worth whinging about if one doesn't fit in there. Ah, oh, there we go. Got it. Yep. All right, so it does. Just a little twist and turn. Yeah. Just got to angle it. In. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just a little bit of wiggle wiggle. All right. That looks pretty cool. Dude, cool. That's freaking awesome. There you go for you guys just to see what we're talking about. Uh, but we should show them the the classic, um, the the modern head in it as well. So, okay. This is how we're going to display with the exclusive, with the boxing glove arrow and the old peak cap. What look? But that is absolutely amazing. I love the water effect. I love the back piece here. And see, that's the thing too. Like you could. When you do it, so we'll show the people too. So when you take this off, it clips in here with the ring. Oh, sorry, wrong way. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so that's where you can store. So you know when you get this is another like this is another ingenious thing where they've actually thought of the collector. Because how many times do we whinge and moan? Oh, what do I do with the other item? Do I leave it in the box? Do I leave it out so I can switch out and stuff like that? This you get the option of doing both. The only difference you got, like with the actual um, item, with the heads, of course, you need to pack one away or keep one out. Yeah. Oh, you clipped it out. back out. Okay. Tell you what, I actually thought that when I first put that in, that um, arrow in there, that it'd be really flimsy and stuff, but it's really well designed. Like for a complex piece, for a complex connection, it's, it's really well done. Okay, so we'll change the head. Magnet's good on the head too. Is that right, Adrian? Yep. Facing me, yeah. Got it. So yeah, that's if you want the more modern, um, like Arrow TV show or um, modern comic look. But yeah, now for me, it's straight away, I'm going back to the old school. OG. OG. You know, that's just, phew. bring on the flash. You know, Flash and Martian Manhunter next. But, yeah, so we'll give you guys a close-up of this and then we'll come back with a review in a couple of days after we've um, let it sink in. Let it sink in like usual. Thanks, yep. guys. Thanks, guys.